Imagine this, you've been working at the same job or building applications for years. You are good at what you do. You feel so secured about it. But one day you are called into a meeting. Your company or the client is cutting costs. Your role or the application is no longer needed. And just like that, your world turns upside down. This isn't a hypothetical situation or a scenario. It's happening right now. Thousands of people across the globe are facing layoffs, job cuts, and the clients are cutting budgets on traditional projects. The question is, are you prepared for what's coming in or will you wait until it's too late? Namaste. My name is Santosh Kumar Bachu. Welcome back to our channel SB4 Matters, your one-stop destination for four matters that I truly believe are important in our lives, health, wealth, technology and charity. Under the technology segment in this video, I'll cover the reality check glimpse from my recent conference where I had the honor of being a panel speaker on AI topics. Third, AI adoption rates across the industries, AI tools industry wise, three industries that I believe have more potential for AI, how to get started and some key considerations. The reality check, not to make you feel uncomfortable, but to make you think seriously for your own benefit. Let's talk numbers. In the last year alone, over 200,000 tech jobs were cut globally. Companies like Google, Amazon and Meta have also laid off thousands of employees. Even industries like finance, retail and manufacturing are reducing their workforce. Why? While you are busy with your scheduled routine, the world is changing. AI is no longer the future, it's the present. Companies are automating tasks, optimizing processes and cutting costs. And if you are not part of this transformation, you risk being left behind. But here's the thing. This isn't just a warning. It's an opportunity. AI isn't just taking jobs. It's creating new ones. It's opening doors for entrepreneurs, innovators and problem solvers across the industries. The question is, will you be a spectator or will you be a player? Just last week, I had the honor of being a panel speaker at the Innovation Nexus event in Hyderabad, a remarkable gathering hosted by Ashocham on security, data protection and AI. Yes, we have created something called an Adaptive Cyber Defense System, ACDS. More secure and digital future for the country and for the nation. They try to have a evolution and revolution. And this is very important. Right? Meta consumes about 15 terawatts of power. There are four key topics that drives me in my life. Uh, health, wealth, technology and charity. I'm glad that I'm here today on the technology stack, especially AI. So today, let's dive into how entrepreneurs can build and scale. In fact, the building and scaling is already happening as we speak. It was an incredible experience to engage in thought-provoking discussions alongside other esteemed speakers, each bringing their wealth of experience and insights. Today, I'll be sharing some of the key takeaways from my presentation at the conference, along with fresh perspectives to help you navigate the evolving AI landscape. So stay tuned, do not skip and watch this entire video. If you like watching such more such videos from me, please do subscribe to SB4 Matters. It just takes a couple of seconds. As per the recent survey, AI is expected to contribute 15.7 trillion to the global economy by 2030 in just less than five years. In fact, no wonder if this happens much faster and sooner, looking at the pace how AI is revolutioning day by day. Amazing, right? Well, the way businesses are leveraging AI in 2025 is drastically different from an year ago. And guess what? By next year, it will be a whole new ball game. Pace AI is evaluating is faster than ever. Every industry is being reshaped by AI. The rate at which AI is getting adopted is rapidly increasing. Mean the more AI enabled services or integrated products and solutions. Let's explore the AI adoption rates across the key industries. Did I just say key industries? I might have missed it to include some of the key industries that may be striking you. Please put some comments if I missed any key industry that you think is getting AI enabled, AI powered. I'm keen to see. Though these are survey based results, please don't quote me on these dynamically changing AI adoption rates. What do these AI adoption rates tell us? They reveal not just where AI is thriving, 
but where the biggest opportunities lie for you for us while industries like finance and telecommunications are leading the way several sectors like agriculture real estate and government and many more are still catching up the race these are very wide options for innovations in fact none of these industries have crossed 50 as you can see so there is so much potential for the session i am going to zoom in into three of the industries where i believe there is more potential i wouldn't necessarily call anything like top three or so but just three but hey you may think of a different set of three put in the comments which of those three you think option or offer more opportunities in the AI space. But hey, you might think of a different set of three. Put in the comments which of those three that you think offer more AI based opportunities. Well, well, I think I missed something important here. Before we just select three industries and zoom in, let me show you some of the AI tools that are already trending, already in use and can be leveraged by you or your business. Let's take a look. I know that's a long list. And in fact, this is not the complete or exhaustive list. But here's what exciting. AI is already solving real world problems in every major industry. In healthcare, as you can see, AI is detecting diseases faster than doctors. In finance, it's predicting market trends, entertainment, social media. I'm sure you know this very well. AI is even creating music editing images and creating videos, avatars and a lot more in just couple of minutes and sometimes even in seconds. The message here is simple. AI is in the future. It's already here and heavily getting integrated across the key industries and these tools are the proof. Now let's zoom in a bit on these three industries which I was mentioning earlier where I believe there is good potential for building AI based solutions because the adoption is less. This is just my perception based on the statistics, research and survey results. First one, agriculture. Though this industry contributes decent chunk to our India's GDP, AI adoption is still catching up. AI is transforming farming with precision agriculture, smart irrigation and automated crop monitoring. AI powered drones and sensors help farmers detect diseases before they spread. If your family was or is into farming or you are into agri-tech or startup or supply chain or passionate about solving real problems, this can be one of your best bets to build solutions powered by AI. AI powered pest detection and crop health analysis, AI driven automated irrigation and smart water usage systems, AI based yield prediction tools for farmers and agribusinesses. If you are looking at this purely from an IT job perspective or from IT, it's essential to stay updated with the latest AI tools as you can see that will shape the industry in the agriculture space. Next, education. Again, this industry is getting geared up with AI integration. This has much more potential for teachers, for edtech startups, content creators, tutors and institutes to build AI powered learning platforms, personalized tutoring, automated assessments and grading, interactive learning for the kids, AI generated entire learning management system LMS and a lot more. As I record this video, I already have two invitations in my calendar to attend demos on AI based educational products designed for kids. One to attend as a parent and other to give my inputs and findings. At this stage, I don't have the full details, but both I as a both an AI enthusiast and a parent, I strongly believe that age appropriate exposure to AI is very crucial. AI, artificial intelligence should empower AI, actual intelligence, not suppress it. If introduced too early, there is a risk of it shaping young minds in ways we may not fully understand. So I'm eager to see what these platforms have to offer, the age groups they cater to, and how they balance AI driven learning with cognitive development. For me, it's a wait and watch. What age do you think is right for kids to be introduced to AI? To be more precise, please put in the comments. Well, back to our topic. If you are looking at this purely from an IT perspective or job perspective, it's essential to stay updated with the latest AI tools shaping up this industry. Again, this list is just an indicator, but there are a lot more. Whether or not to explore further, I'll leave that with you. Last one on my list for this video is 
construction industry. This again has less adoption rate currently mean more opportunity for entrepreneurs and IT people. AI solutions can automate workflows and repetitive tasks making teams more efficient, streamline scheduling and resource allocation, optimizing the profitability and timeliness of large projects. Shorter projects and timeliness can be betterly planned and optimizes the uses of materials. Artificial intelligence can identify and flag safety issues. For example, AI applications can video footage and sensor data for signs of equipment malfunctioning or unsafe working conditions and alert site managers to take corrective actions in real time. AI tools can optimize the use of resources and reduce waste, helping construction companies adopt more sustainable construction practices. If you are not fully exposed to AI yet, I'm not talking about ChatGPT or DeepSeek on your mobiles or running those on your browsers that you use day in day out i'm talking about ai models generating ai llms large language models and the ai tools that you need to keep an eye on to stay ahead in the industry or the job you are in are you ready to take the plunge here's how you can get started identify a niche focus on industries with low adoption but high potential i showed key three industries but you may select any leverage no code low code ai tools platforms like google microsoft and many other companies make easier to build ai solutions without needing deep technical expertise collaborate with experts partner with data scientists ai researchers or universities to accelerate your development build a minimal viable product mvp start small test your idea and iterate based on the feedbacks check out these ai tools and start getting your hands dirty some key considerations it's crucial to maintain human judgment and ethical considerations while building ai applications and solutions as i mentioned before ai artificial intelligence should empower actual intelligence not suppress it your existing landscape infrastructure and other solutions should be compatible that's the key to integrate with ai understand the limitations of ai and use to the extent it offers there are limitations don't rely on ai fully finally ai is transforming every industry but the biggest opportunities are for those who act now identify a problem leverage on existing ai tools build test and scale 2025 is the year to launch your AI driven idea or business. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for more insights on AI and entrepreneurship. And if you are already working on AI project, drop a comment below. What industry are you in? What problems are you trying to solve? What tools are you already using? I'd love to hear about it. Until next time, keep innovating. Namaste. Jai Hind.